Shri Shri Ras Viharani Juhi Jai Vraja Kishori Seva Trust Reading of Shri Hari Raiji Parishiksha Patra Day 96 Letter 38 Verses 6 Onwards Shri Krishna is the original source of all manifestations. Among these are his partial forms or vyuha and they are Pradyumna, Vasudev, Aniruddha and Sankarshan. These viewers are established for Sri Krishna's specific purposes. He is within them, but he is not attainable through them or any partial manifestation. Let's look at, Shri, at the Sri Krishna who appears as the son of Vasudeva and Devaki. He is the original source of all manifestations and has really only one form. Yet he appears with these four viewers and are thus with four arms. These are called Pradyumna, Vasudev, Vasudev Aniruddha and Sankarshan. In the lines of this verse, the word ch is used, which implies as well as. And here this refers to two more viewers, one with fair and one with dark hair, and so on. In total, there are six such viewers. Sankarshan defeats evil forces, Vasudev grants liberation, Pradyumna perpetuates the lineage, Aniruddha protects the devotees, and between them these four manifestations have many other duties apart from these main ones listed above. Within all of them resides the Supreme Person, who is never born and is not an avatar. It is stated in the Srimad Bhagavatam, He resides in all beings and all beings reside within Him. His seeming birth to Devakiji is a story with a purpose. He is the leader of the Yard of Council and he destroys the unrighteous with his own hand. He alleviates the sorrow of both unmoving and moving beings and with his smiling lotus face he awakens love in the hearts of the ladies of Raj, Brindavan and of Mathura City. Sri Krishna is also beyond all such acts. Note A. The trees of Sri Brindavan are not able to move. Sri Krishna forms a relationship with them through putting the flute made from such trees to his lips and thus sharing the lip ne- his lip sh- nectar with them. This alleviates their frustration of not being able to move and thus follow him. B. The village ladies and the city ladies did not have the same level of experience of Sri Krishna. The village ladies are stated to have a deeper experience of him. From such statements as these, it is understood that Sri Krishna did not actually come out of Devakiji's womb. This is just a story. Note C. The example given here to explain this is that the sun and the moon both appear from an easterly direction, but even so they are not connected to the easterly direction itself. This is simply their route. Six, six, and seventh tika. In this very way, these four partial manifestations are created by Sri Krishna himself, and he keeps them inside himself. Some may say that if they are part of him, then their worship would count as that of the Lord himself. But in fact, the answer to this doubt is that even though he develops them, they are still just portions of him, and their worship is not tantamount to that of the Supreme Lord, who is in everything and in whom everything is present. But the partial manifestations have to follow his command. They do whatever they are ordered and then must return to their own abodes. Sri Krishna, on the other hand, eternally sports in his own realm. Worship of his partial manifestations may take you to heaven or the attainment of the four types of liberation, having a form like the Lord's, living in his close proximity, so um, merging into him, or living in his own realm, but it will never grant the highest fruit of the nectar of devotion. Sri Krishna is above and beyond all other forms, and devotion to him is also in a league of its own. In devotion that is of a mixed type, the ultimate reward cannot be had. Without good association and teaching, this specialness of Sri Krishna cannot be perceived. In verse 8. Human opinion has gone astray and people say that Sri Krishna's form is material. Through ignorance, they imagine the work of his partial forms to be that of the ultimate form. These partial manifestations of Sri Krishna perform endless activities in the world. Many ignorant and deluded souls get together and consider Sri Krishna's pastimes to be those of an ordinary man. For example, they have many opinions about why he left Brindavan to go to Mathura and his pastimes there. Only very accomplished devotees are able to understand these events as the pastimes of his four partial manifestations to what to speak of the embodied souls of this age of Kali. 
Those fools who witnessed these doings of his partial manifestations and then blamed the original Sri Krishna himself mistakenly thought that Sri Krishna himself was involved in the activities of his four viewers. Their destruction ensued through a curse. Only the great devotee Uddhav was spared from that curse. Know that quality of devotion to be most difficult to attain. You should know Sri Krishna to be the embodiment of bliss and his pastimes to be only those that are, in, that are full of the loving mood of his beloved devotees. In all other situations, it is his partial manifestations that carry out the actions. Have full and total faith in this concept. Only then will you begin to have the true experience of Sri Krishna. Verse 9. Sri Krishna's pastimes are exclusively those filled with nectarian bliss, while it is his plenary portions that perform such activities of removing the earth's burdens, etc. Note. There is a grammatical indication in this verse inferring that the Sri Krishna and Balaram who appeared in Vasudevji's home are both forms of Sri Krishna, here called Keshav. Dika. Sri Krishna is always engaged in blissful pastimes with the Raja devotees. They are indescribable, but the close disciples and followers of Sri Varabhacharya's path of grace are worthy of experience them. For example, Sri Swamiji's annoyance in love and the pain of separation felt by the Raja devotees when their Lord dis- disappears. It is in that way that Sri Krishna resides within Sri Vrindavan. It is his partial forms that deal with the demons and monsters that burden the earth by slaying the sinners and protecting the demigods from them. The view house are involved with the business of creation, etc. Whilst the pastimes of the Lord in Sri Vrindavan are exclusively play of divine love. Verses 10 and 11. It is certainly true that the Sri Krishna who resides eternally in Sri Vrindavan Dham endlessly grants the pure bliss of his form, whilst when he resides in Mathura, he grants the ultimate reward of the realization of his bliss form only to those who are sufficiently graced. From this we see that Sri Krishna, who is full of nectarian bliss alone, does in his play function with some differences of form, and it is only in Sri Brajadam Brindavan that his pastimes have no restrictions and he displays his complete manifestation. In Sri Brindavan Dham, Sri Brindavan, in, Raj, in Sri Rajadham, Sri Brindavan, the granting of the highest bliss through the experience of Sri Krishna's play is constant. When he resides in Mathura or Dwarka, that type of bliss is only granted to those on whom there is particular mercy and grace. Otherwise, liberation is given. In Vraja, he resides in his pure bliss form, but in Mathura and Dwarka, it is his partial manifestations who reign. When a soul takes refuge in the Mathura form, they are not awarded that constant bliss, but only the amount grantable by the particular form to whom they resort, because those forms have limitations, and the bliss they grant is according to the path of lawful limitations. In the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Ji, Sri Krishna says to Arjun, I worship my devotees in this exactly the same way as they worship me. In other words, the devotee receives the exact fruit of the specific way, mood and intention of their worship. In this way, Sri Krishna appears and performs pastimes in many, many places, and forms all over the world. His form at each place is site-specific, and the rewards to the devotee are also according to that particular manifestation. It is only in Sri Brajadham, Sri Brindavan, that the totally unlimited full form beyond all the Vedas and consisting purely of love, Sri Krishna eternally plays. So we'll conclude our reading for today here. Come tomorrow. Uh, we will continue with verses 12 and 13. Aj Ken and Kije. Savvaishnavanko Sadar Sananda Sadenya Saprem Jai Shri Krishna Shri Shri Rasviharani Jukijeho Jai Shri Radhe.